Thank you. It's now week four of training for the Grand Rapids Triathlon. Laura and I got valuable tips from our trainer, Carrie, to help us save some time on race day. Hey everyone, we're here at Shriners. Jeff Joush is the owner here, and we're here to talk about the third discipline of a triathlon, which is running. So thank you so much for having us here today. This Thanks is the one-stop shop for all of your triathlon gear needs, correct? Correct. Okay. You will find everything you need here. Okay. We specialize in running, but we also do all the triathlon gear that you're gonna need. Carrie, in your blog, which I love, you kind of describe that running is both the easiest and the hardest part of a try. So yes. why do you say it that way? Well, it's the easiest because you need the least amount of gear and we already know how to run. A big part of your run is the bike ride that you do beforehand and pacing yourself during that. So can you tell us Absolutely. how to do that? So the stage is set for either a death march or a beautiful <laughs> run on your bike. It never fails that particularly new triathletes will get out there and just you know, ride their hardest because it's fun and it feels good and you have all that adrenaline and race day excitement and stuff. But then you get to the run and you have no legs left. So it, it takes a lot of, um, you know, mental strength, but you have to hold back a little bit. We've got a lot of practicing to do and one of the ways you do that is with those brick workouts. So your brick workouts are going to be a bike ride immediately followed by a run. So don't divide those like I'm going to do one in the morning, one at night. They need to be done back to back. And what that does is mentally prepare you for the jello legs <laughs> so you know what it feels like yeah. sure. and that you're you're ready for that. You're going to need a good pair of running shoes. So a lot of us think that, you know, the shoes that we've had in our closet for, you know, since last season are going to be sufficient, but actually um, running shoes break down after just a couple of months, even just sitting. So you should definitely replace your running shoes on a regular basis and Striders is the perfect place to come and get fit for the right shoe for you transitions, which is another essential part of the race to kind of shave off time where you can and make those as quick as possible. Exactly. So transition is where you're going to store all your gear. It's where you head after you get out of the water and when you get back from the from the bike. It's where you are able to get the bike shoes and the things that you need to do the rest of the race. And that, of course, counts towards your total time. So we want to be as quick and as efficient during transitions as possible. Before race day, you're going to be given, when you go to the expo, they'll give you a sheet that has your, your race number on it. Okay. And you're going to put that number on your bike. You also put a number on your helmet. Um, and then there's going to be body marking where with a Sharpie marker, they'll mark your arms. Little pro tip, you can mark yourself the day <laughs> next morning and that way it won't get all over your sheets. <laughs> Park your car, you head to the race, you're going to carry everything in a nice, huge, enormous backpack such as <laughs> this <laughs> beautiful backpack. You'll wheel your bike along with you and you'll head to your transition spot. Grand Rapids transition is really pretty long, so I would really recommend when you go there to set up, look around and just make sure you know where you're going. <laughs> look for some landmarks like a tree or a house or something. You'll set up your transition stuff and then put on your wetsuit if you're going to wear one. Make sure you have your swim cap and your goggles. Okay, yeah. and then you're ready for leg one. So I like to set things up how I'm going to need them. Grab sunglasses, put them on, grab a helmet, put it on. I've got my socks rolled up ready to go. All right, so you'll take off your shoes and you're going to, if you want to wear a visor, slide on your visor. I would grab this and just hang on to it because you can trot and put this on at the same time, save you some seconds. Great. So I have Jeff's big shoes here, but <laughs> <laughs> these are lock laces and they're just stretchy laces. So you can just slide your foot right into there. And that's the last transition you have to worry about. Next After thing that, is finish line. Finish line. Yeah. And I love all the yeah. little nuances, the tips and tricks that you can tell real experts who've done it a ton of times. Probably so too many times. Thanks for giving <laughs> us those little clues for our first sure. one. I feel like we're on the inside, so I appreciate Great. it. Great. You guys are going to do awesome. Nervous but excited for that day to come.